Yes, welcome back. And um, on the home stretch this morning, we're going to have a quick conversation traveling all the way to Queen's whole land and country uh, in the United Kingdom, the University of Hertfordshire. I believe it is located in Hertfordshire, but let's have, we have in the studio now Vivian Ojadi, who's senior lecturer at University of Hertfordshire. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, thank and you. And good morning to Michael De Sumo, who is country manager, University of Hertfordshire. Thank you very much, good morning. Um, let me start with you as a country manager. It, it means that you represent the university here, Nigeria. but the university Correct. is actually in Hertfordshire yes, it is. in the United Kingdom, in England. Yes, it is. Where is it in Hertfordshire? Um, Hertfordshire is a county. Uh, the yes. university is actually located in a small town which is called Hatfield. Hatfield, okay. Yes. And Hatfield is about, um, in relation to, I mean, a lot of Nigerians know London, so yes. in relation to London, it's about 25 minutes from central London, but it's a lot closer on from north train, London. On the, on the, on the train, train, yeah. And if you're driving, if you're driving it's, about, um, it's about 20, 30 minutes. minutes. Yes. Uh, from, yes. But from north London, it's a lot closer. It's only yes. about 15, 10 minutes, depending on where you're driving from in north London. Okay. Now, and there's good transportation as well from Hatfield into the whole of London, so it's easily uh, so possible cool. to commute. Okay. Yeah. okay, so as a senior lecturer in University of Hertfordshire, what, what is the institution like? What, what kind of university is it? Okay, um, University of Hertfordshire is a, post, is a top new university in the UK. Uh, it's a post-52, you know, because universities in the UK are kind of categorized as a post-52 university, so it's the newer ones. But it's top universities, an enterprise-facing university that has won awards on enterprise and business. So it has business school that is very popular in the world because of their partnering with um, industry and practice. And then it, uh, it started in 1952 as um, a science school, a polytechnic. And then by 1992, it became a university. And um, it had some long relationships by a decade with Nigerian and Nigerian students studying there. What the kind of relationship have they had? Um, we've had um, Nigerian students coming over there um, in time working there, developing employability, and had very good, um, lots of influence. And Nigerian students actually love it in that field. Developing employability, does that and mean skills. a lot of training on uh, entrepreneurship and... Exactly, because it's a business first in universities and an exemplar in that industry as um, an enterprise university. So it develops relationship with uh, uh, industries, with companies. So the, the education you get in the business school aspect edu of education, it's linked with practice, it's a hands-on. It's not just a question of going to read books. You pass through the school and the school passes through you. You do uh, actual um, practices, placements, and things like that that in enable students, yes. So what kind of companies do you have that um, liaise or uh, collaborate with you in helping to train interns from the university? Okay. Um, the university, right next to the university is the business park. You know, institutions are linked, the kind of, with the kind of um, um, education that institutions deliver determines the kind of um, parks that are established. You have universities that have science park. The University of Hertfordshire has a business park. And business park is an, a place where you have lots of businesses, companies, industries, chambers of commerce. So there are lots of internship placement opportunities for, for students that are studying in the university. And, and that gives them the, the edge okay. over mm -hmm. those who just... All right, so with all of this, I'm excited. How does any student qualify? To get into your um, we have some standard entry requirements that you will meet. In, in Nigeria, a student who passes his GCE, his or her GCE, meaning at least you have your English and maths very well, and you have enough papers to do your foundation. What happens is because you, in, in the UK, if you finish GCE, which is called GCSE, you will do A-levels two years before you go into the university and do three years. But Nigerian students, what you need is you can do A-level or you can do a foundation degree. And the foundation program is part of what um, MOD education, which Michael and his uh, organization there as country rep arrange and help arrange for students. So you can do a foundation degree. That's for undergraduates. Now for um, postgraduate degree. Foundation degree, degree will then be what? How many years? It, one year. One year foundation. So with that one year, you can then enter into the University of Hertfordshire and do three years. And graduate hmm. okay that's for undergraduate and then for postgraduate if you graduate with good 
Tutu from a Nigerian university, Tutu and above, you can get admission to do a postgraduate degree in, a, in the University of Hertfordshire. But if you get a, three, three, a, a, yeah. third class, a third class, then you, you will need to do a, what we call a kind of um, certificate program to be able to top up mm, okay. to still do a postgraduate degree. To, to Mr. Michael Dosumo, I also would like to know how much, or in relation to cost, you know, how much will a student be looking at? When it comes to um, we the university is quite affordable. Um, it isn't cheap. <laughs> yeah. It's not it's cheap, but it's affordable. Well, I mean, if you're for anyone who's thinking of um, getting a foreign, you know, qualification, you'd be, you know, you you need to have the right figures in mind. But we're quite um, I degrees I will range from about ten to twelve thousand pounds, depending on what you're studying. Um, for the undergraduate courses, they are a lot cheaper, obviously, than the postgraduate courses. And the, 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 the students also have, uh, we have a lot of scholarship opportunities available anyway. So the, the cost, as, as huge as they can be, students have a way of, of obviously, um, um, you know, lightening the burden of how much they have to pay because they can get scholarships to come to, come to us. I mean, they're not guaranteed and they're merit based. So it's not a scholarship that's based on who you, who you are where you're from. There are scholarships that are based on the previous achievements academically that you have with which you're applying to the university. Oh, Vivian was going to give us details. Yes, I was going to give a bit more detail on that. The, ski, the fees for, for undergraduate